it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug, the weekend Angel Hug for Friday the 3rd, Saturday the 4th and Sunday the 5th of May and I'm going to start with the um, Messages from Your Angels cards by Doreen Virtue, I think that's what they are, um, yes I'm fairly sure they are, yeah, not the daily messages and I'm um, just going to connect for Friday to ask how can we fly into freedom beyond resistance. That feels like the place to stop. And I've got Athena. It is safe for you to be powerful. <laughs> you know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. So, okay, I know exactly what this is about. So if you have a sense that you're looking around the world at who the powerful people are and what they've done to the world, what they are continuing to do with the world, the abuses that you see, the inequalities that you see, the pain that you see inflicted at the hands of people who are very powerful. Detach from that today and come inside and know a different kind of power, a deeper power, a true connection with the ultimate, infinite, divine power and allow it to really, really lift you beyond all of those thoughts that we have, those small thoughts about, oh, how we can't be powerful because we will misuse that power, we will abuse it, or we will become a part of that, we will be one of those people. Today, have a sense of playing through your life, playing with the idea creatively of becoming more empowered from within with the beauty and the passion of a message that must reach the world. A message or a product or an action or a service, something that must be unstoppable because it's so, in, so divine in nature, because it is so supposed to be in the world, because you know in your heart that there are people right now waiting for this thing that you have to offer. So when we go inside ourselves, we get away from the thinking and we get into the feeling about what is it that I can give? What what am I here to give? How will that make a difference? And how can I begin to do it? When we get into service, we go into a whole different frequency and even a whole different range of emotions and we can somehow get beyond that. So for some people, for lots of us, there are past lives where we have been powerful and we felt that we've misused that power or we've been powerful and that power has been used against us. And even when we have been empowered and we've been using our gifts for the highest good of all, those gifts have been used and abused by others and possibly by ourselves. So it's time to just wash that clean, to release that into the all and know that we are here for a divine purpose. For some of us, that purpose is to clear up the karma of those times. And the only way to do that is to put it right by being in that place of empowerment and doing it lovingly and going forward in full faith, knowing that you will do the very best that you can at all times. So you might not consciously know what those things are that are holding you back and making you afraid of power, but today, Friday, is the day to stop resisting becoming an empowered being, okay? I love that one. So that's for Friday. For Saturday, right, I'm being told to move on. Where am I going? Hmm. I've got secret language of colour cards and the Ascended Master cards and I feel like I'm going for the Ascended Masters first. Right, so for Saturday, stop, thank you. Saturday, go now, okay. Right, so for people who are in a place of um, resisting physical change, that's what this feels like. And that could be in the form of changing a job, changing a physical location. It could be in the form of um, bringing in new things into a business, new products, new ideas. It could be collaborating with, with other people. It could be forming a partner, a partnership. It could be going uh, to another country. It could be going to another town. It could be going anywhere. It could be doing anything at all. Or it could be simply getting up and going. So in other words, physically, you know, putting your money where your mouth is, putting your feet, walking the talk, stop talking, actually getting up 
and taking action and investing and committing. So if you're in that space today and you have some doubts, this is the day to go inside and ask yourself, am I resisting something that is a very valid yes? Ask yourself on Saturday, what can I do to overcome this resistance by taking a physical action or by putting into plans um, the thing that I know or the things that I know I actually physically want to do. This is a very physical card to me. And the more I talk about it and feel its vibration, it feels very physical. And I know there are a lot of planets kind of coming into Taurus. I know the sun is in Taurus. I know that it's a very physical time. It's a time of looking at our resources. It's a time of looking at all of the things that... Uh, kind of are, I suppose, a physical manifestation of consciousness in our lives. So if those things need to be moved from one place to another, in some sense, even if that thing is one of those things is you, to Saturday is the day to consider how that could work logistically, how you could make that happen. Okay, so for Sunday, let's have a secret language of colour card. And I have to say, by the way, that um, I haven't got all my cards with me and I do miss some of them. I miss the Archangel Michael cards. I miss the Daily Messages cards, but I've been in so many different places for such a long time. And sometimes with travelling, I just can't take everything with me. But I've got a whole new batch of cards here. And these ones are gorgeous. I, I had to take the one. I had to prioritise. Right. So Sunday, purify your body. So if there are things that you know you can improve on that will uh, help you to uh, transcend the limitations, let's just say, um, by doing something physical, by purifying your body, this is a good day to do that. And I love that this is so lemony. They're saying talk about the lemon. So starting the day, for example, with some lemony water. I'm not giving dietary advice, but I'm just saying um, this is also the colour of the, the solar plexus and that area, the stomach. Really absorb that colour today. Absorb the consciousness of brightness. If you can get some sunshine as well, get out into the sunshine. But really purify the body in any way that you physically can. And that can can be by doing a cleanse of some sort that can just be by drinking a lot more water it could be like juicing or juice fasting or anything like that that feels right to you I'm not giving dietary advice but that is another way of helping ourselves to overcome resistance because when we think about it the heavier we are physically or rather the more dense we are physically the more dense and the more I suppose toxified we are, the um, the easier it is for us to be uh, seduced by this illusion, this 3D illusion, because that vibration is very much of that consciousness. So the more we purify ourselves, raise our frequency and become much more aligned with the frequency of liberation and of um, transcendence, um, the easier it becomes to stop resisting because it puts us into the flow much more easily. So Sunday is gonna be a good day to feel your way into how you can experience more flow by making the body feel lighter. And I'm not talking about, you know, physical weight. You can actually have a bit of weight on you and you can still raise your frequency through purification. So experiment with that today. And um, uh, for Sunday rather and I feel like I just want to pick one more card for Sunday and um, it's because I've got the Ascended Masters deck kind of glowing and uh, it's quite a long one for this weekend but it just feels right. Retreat into nature, the green man. So Sunday is all about, definitely about taking sustenance from green things, from the earth, from the fruit, from that vibration, getting into that finer vibration and allowing that to help you to overcome resistance because nature wants to help us right now. Nature wants to help us and nature wants us to help nature. And uh, that's it. That's all that needs to be said, I'm being told. Okay, everyone, have a great weekend. I'll be back on Monday. Bye.